Hello and welcome to the bonus round for our add-ons uh, this week. Um, the reason this is a bonus round is that uh, this add-on is actually not in use uh, for uh, tube slash wires for empathy. Um, it is uh, indeed an experiment that I'm carrying out for making rig UIs for future projects. So let's have a look at the demo file. Um, so this is basically on the level of a test or experiment and not really a uh, final running code. Um, so I'm going to run the script. And so here we have the uh, familiar uh, meta rig for um, the rigify add-on that's already included in Blender. And I'm just using the meta rig right now for this test um, just to kind of demonstrate and um, do development on. So first of all, we can see the, the on-screen sliders that I showed last week uh, present on the rig. Um, by the way, these have had a bunch of bug fixes and uh, work a lot better. Like you can use manipulators and then use the slider and, you know, all that kind of stuff and do works. It's, um, it's a lot better situation than it was when I first released the script last week or week and a half or two weeks ago. Um, so the new thing is this picker test thing. Um, so if I run the script, um, right now you have to run the script to get it going. You can register it probably, but um, eventually it'll be an add-on. Um, right now it's just a test. And um, so basically with the rig selected, if I hit Control F, I get this <coughs> handy dandy little window that I can move around and I can resize. We, um, and it has a little picture on it. And uh, if I click on bits of the picture, it will actually select uh, pieces of my rig. Um, and that's currently all this test does. Um, there's some debug information because I was looking at the events being generated um, to test out this script. And uh, the cool thing about it is it is non-blocking. So if you do anything outside of this window, um, Blender will get all those events so you can um, you know, you can select different things, you can grab things around, um, use the manipulators, uh, scale them, whatever you want to do. Um, it'll work, and this one will still work. And um, you hit Escape, um, and it dismisses it, and Control F brings it back, and that's currently what this test is doing right now. Um, in the future, it should turn into a full-fledged uh, rig UI. Um, I'll improve a little bit the mouse interaction um, and uh, have a more uh, uh, elaborate image. And I um, just want to show a, a nice thing about it. This image is um, actually a data block within Blender. So if you go to the UV image editor, that's the image. And it's a PNG file. And uh, it is uh, generated from Inkscape. So let's start up that program. Should have started it before. Okay, so here we have Inkscape, and I'll make it a bit bigger. There we go. And let's see if it's in our recent menu. Here it is. Oh, maximized. Darn. Okay, here we go. So here it is again. So here's our image. And it's just a regular uh, vector uh, image. Uh, if we look at the layers, by the way, Inkscape is a great uh, free and open source um, vector editing program. It's very handy to use. Um, so we've got a bunch of layers. Um, the first three are just visual layers. They're generating that PNG. So that's the frame and then the kind of outline of the character some colored squares just for our eyes to see, to so know what we're clicking on. And then finally, this final layer isn't visible in the PNG, and it's just there for Blender. Um, if I look at um, Object Properties, and uh, here we go, and I select one of these guys, you can see it's called Head 1, Head 2, Head, oh, this is Body, so let's zoom in so we can select more carefully head 3 and head 4. And basically, Blender, uh, or rather the uh, script, reads this SVG file and goes through these points, 1, 2, 3, 4, and creates a bounding box for your mouse to click on. And it knows that all of these are associated with head 
Um, we've got arm left, arm right, um, body, and like the two legs um, have this. So they're basically four points. They can be, uh, they're basically defining quads uh, for the uh, picker to, uh, to work with. Um, so like those are not in the image, but um, if we uh, look at the uh, code for the uh, script, you can see that it's getting the data from the SVG file directly. Um, so that means that um, with a finalized version of the script, uh, riggers will be able to create UIs that are specific to their rigs by simply uh, creating a, uh, a few new objects in the SVG and re-exporting it and changing its shape and so on and so forth. So the, the goal is that you'll be able to make a UI for a rig without writing a single line of code. And that brings us to the end of this little bonus section. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, see you next time.